Los Angeles a couple weeks ago on the first day of Women's History Month. She was named the city's first female fire chief. Say that five times fast. And that's not the only barrier she broke through, y'all. She's also the department's first openly gay leader as well. So let's welcome and congratulate soon to be Los Angeles Fire Chief, Kristen Crowley. Oh, thank you. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So say hi to Louisa. Hi, Louisa. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. So this is such an accomplishment. So congratulations on everything. So I can only imagine what it took to get to this point, right? Yeah, it's been quite an amazing journey. 20, nearly 23 years on the department and just being really thoughtful. I've promoted through the ranks for, for a real reason and that is to create the credibility behind my name. So promoted from firefighter, firefighter paramedic, engineer, fire inspector, captain one, captain two, battalion chief, deputy chief, Assistant hey. Chief, first female fire marshal, uh, chief deputy, and now the 19th fire chief in the history of the LAFD. You know what I love most about that is I think it's important when people do come up like that because then you really understand what everybody's vocation is like around. You understand what everyone does and you, under you have empathy, you know, for these positions that you've also been a part of. I think that's important. Yeah, it, it's really yeah. important. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's purposeful, right? Because even if you question or somebody questions you, you can always point back to, I've, I've done that for a reason. It's it, exactly the empathy, but understanding what your members' needs are mm -hmm. and then you can better support them, especially being in the number one position, it's really important that I understand what each and every member Absolutely. has done, and that way we can better, you know, serve the community. Absolutely, and a team, just it's a better yeah, team, absolutely. stronger. Um, so you've also been able to work alongside with your wife for a lot of those years, right? Right, right. So my wife, is that uh, hard or it, easy? you know, it's <laughs> unique, right? Especially in the fire okay, service. Okay, unique is a very it's politically a correct bad, way. Right. Unique, <laughs> but. but <laughs> But yeah, so side by side, um, Holland, uh, in the picture there, she did 28 years on our department. Oh, wow. So she just retired recently, you know, help us with our kiddos, and uh, she was very well respected. And it's interesting, you know, she and I, because we have the training, things often happen to us, and it's, it's odd, but it's, it's a blessing because we're trained. Mm -hmm. And back in 2018, we actually, I don't know if everybody remembers the Woolsey fire, it's a big fire that kind of yeah. came through Ventura County and Malibu. Holland's mom lives up in Malibu and legally blind. So we saw the fire coming. We ended up getting our kiddos off to school. We start heading towards Malibu. Everybody was evacuating. We got up to the house and we started helping the, the or I should say the neighbors get their stuff ready. And all of a sudden, boom, the fire started coming over the hill. So we told everybody to leave. She and I looked at each other, said, okay, let's go to work. And we fought fire for about 16 hours with water hoses, just buckets, dirt. We ended up losing one house, but we saved nine others, and it was just wow. a blessing. Thank you. Yeah, it was good that we were there. It's really cool, too, to have a partner in your life that really understands where you're coming from. Like, you know, the to have those people kind of in your life that know what you're going through, like okay. if it's under a microscope or if it's just whatever it is. Do yes. you have those friends in your life? I do, yeah. That was the benefit of going to drama school, um, hmm. getting my master's at Yale. My classmates are my rocks. Like yeah, whenever cool. anything gets really hard, I always go back to them, always. I have such a great support system. That's awesome and so yeah. necessary. And just, I think people realize more than now the last two years, like isolation can do such a number on our mental health, you know? So it's good to have those people and surround yourself with people that love you and, and it's reciprocated. Um, so have you, have you imagined what your first day as chief will be like? I tell you, it's Will you bring a cape? I want you to yeah. just arrive with a cape. <laughs> this is my cape. Be right like, here. I earned this. <laughs> my my <laughs> uniform is my cape. No, um, it, it's right around the corner and it's, it's getting real and yeah. it feels so good. I have a, a real just sense of calmness, yeah. which is preparedness. But the first day's coming. I'm, I'm going to have my swearing in on the 25th of March. Wow. My family's going to be there. Uh, my kids, my, my three beautiful, our three beautiful daughters. Look at your beautiful actually, family. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. So they, and that's what's inspiring, right? So my kiddos and hopefully young girls, boys, men and women across the nation can see, it's like, hey, somebody like that could be in this position. 
of leadership. So I'll be sworn in on the 25th and the first official day being the 19th, like I said, fire chief in the history of our LAFD, our Los Angeles Fire Department, yeah. will happen on the 27th. So just, uh, it's all about inspiring people and you know, they do often say, if you can see it, you can be it. And I'll say one added caveat to that, especially with the young girls out there, is if she can see her, she can be her. And that's what's Ooh. really inspiring. I love that. That's nice. Thank you so much, Chief Thank Crowley, for everything much. you do Thank for you us. So the much. sacrifice not only for me, but your partner as well. Thank you. And your family. Thank you. We'll be right back, everybody, with a performance from country artist Chris Chances. Stay right here.